Hi and I welcome you to this lecture on LDAP server setup. In this lecture, we have two main sections. Firstly, I will give a demo on LDAP server setup and secondly, the demo will be on configuring LDAP server. All commands that I use in this lecture can be downloaded from supplement resources provided with this course. On this demo, I will be installing and configuring LDAP in an Ubuntu OS. If you are setting up LDAP in a different OS, commands may change a bit but core logic just remains the same. Our first step is installing slapd and ldap utils. Slapd is a standalone ldap daemon. It listens to ldap connections at port number 389 by default and it responds to all ldap operations it receives from clients. With current version of ldap, all configurations can be done in slapd itself. This helps us to dynamically manage our ldap configuration so that no need to restart our service each time we change the configuration file. Earlier without this functionality, we have to maintain a separate configuration file and should restart our service frequently after every change we make to the configuration file. But those days are gone, we don't have to maintain a separate configuration file now. Next LDAP utils has to be installed because it's required to install all necessary packages for LDAP server. I'm going to set up my LDAP server in a remote Ubuntu machine. So I have to take a remote access to that machine. For that I'm using a software called Putty. Now I'm updating my AppGet repository so that latest packages will be picked while executing the command to install slapd and LDAP utils. Now I'm executing the command to install slapd and LDAP utils. Now I'm asked for confirmation on disk usage. To install this package. I am giving S yes and hitting enter. Now I have to provide admin password. I am entering the password and hitting enter to proceed. Now we are done with our LDAP installation. Next step is to configure slapd and this is done in an interactive way which makes it extremely easy to configure. Now I am executing the slapd configure command. Actually this command is not just for one time. Whenever you want to reconfigure your slapd, just go ahead and execute this command. You can reconfigure in an interactive way. Now I am asked if I want to omit LDAP configuration. I am selecting no and hitting enter to proceed. In this screen, I have to provide DNS domain name. It's actually the public DNS name of the server where I am setting up LDAP. I am entering the name and hitting enter to proceed. Now I am asked for organization name. I am entering it as demo and hitting enter to proceed. Now I have to enter admin password. I am entering the same password I have given during LDAP installation and hitting enter to proceed. In this page you are explained with different database options available with LDAP. I am going to select HDB since it supports more features but some may recommend you MDB or BDB for better performance. Based on your requirement, you have to select appropriate database in next window, but for now just hit enter to proceed to next window. In this window, you were asked to choose your database. I am choosing HDB and hitting enter. Now I am asked whether I want to delete the database when slapd is removed. It always recommended to retain the database, so I am selecting no and hitting enter to proceed. Next it asks if I want to move my old database. It's always recommended to move old database to avoid issues on configuration process. I am selecting S yes and hitting enter to proceed. Now we should select whether LDAP version 2 should be supported or not. Since LDAP version 2 is obsolete, I am selecting no and hitting enter to proceed. And with that we are done with our LDAP configuration. With this, I am concluding my lecture on LDAP server setup and configuration. Thanks for listening to this video. In my next lecture, we will look into LDAP client setup and its configuration. Thank you.